You know, we all learn from each other. So if you don't know, that's, that's why a lot of motherfucking uh, jits be in school and shit. You know what I'm saying? They get to a point in school where they get afraid to ask a question. They might be afraid that the kid's going to laugh at them, say they made a dumb question and shit like that. So they actually shut down and refrain from asking questions. And the teacher may be going over shit and they're just going over your ass because you... You know, you basically ain't want to speak up for yourself and be like, I don't understand. Go over that shit again. We got to basically break that mold. I know now the problem with niggas in the school system, too, because that's not our the instructional methods that they're using in the public school no. system. It's not basically no. tuned to the instructional ways that we receive. It's more of a um, backwards way and uh, it's pushing niggas' button because niggas are more emotional like yeah. that. So we understand the frustration that comes from it, but we can't shun education and shun the fact that not reading is, is cool. No, I mean, that's you know, not we, can't, cool. we can't shun read and we can't shun to learn because we got to learn amongst ourselves, amongst our people because we don't never get educated. We can't set up shit for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Real Vision, GMR and STV. Hey man, this is the Empress again. Yeah, yeah, that's real. Check this out. I, my question is, why does GMR and STV make some black people sick? Why is that why does GMR and STV make some black people so damn mad? <laughs> oh man. Ooh, that is a real good question right now. Why does GMR and STV make some black people so damn mad? We got to understand it's, the, it's obviously the content that we doing it. Because we just doing it naturally. We are actually being ourselves on this bitch. And some niggas to get mad at that automatically, they don't identify with it. And also, also, they probably don't identify with it. But also, you may, it may hit home so, so hard that you know it offends you also so you m may also identify with it as well yeah you subconsciously like, you just don't really want to face it like and, that, and we know now looking at blacks now we understand the society that niggas are ashamed of themselves that's yeah. why like you said an example be right now don't act that way around the white people or tighten up by don't act like that and yeah. when they see a nigga doing all this shit that we do amongst ourselves to the whole world they kind of get ashamed like why is they doing that on tv why are they acting like that we don't act like this well, I'm not a nigga, and I know niggas. <laughs> and I know, and niggas, we doing this shit because we come out of this shit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of black people see that, and they get maybe blowed and offended that we just putting it out there to the whole world. Or basically, yeah. it's like you say, touching home, it's touching the nerve. They're like, man, who the fuck they think they is? They getting blown. Like, I don't believe this shit. But we're not saying something new. This stuff that already been state, stated, it just basically tries to be buried and put under the table. Okay, that's right. Okay, I feel you on that. Number two, y'all niggas stupid. Let me just say that. <laughs> stupid, okay? I got one more question and I'm going to leave it alone. Why are snake niggas such a threat and a danger to real niggas? Oh, that's damn. That's a good one. And we touched on that with the Trinity of yeah, Enemies. I remember that one. Which is on YouTube right now. You can go search GMR and STV Trinity of Enemies and learn about snake niggas. Snake ass niggas is one of the Trinity of Enemies. Three, three part enemies. Puss ass crackers. That's one. Snake ass niggas. That's two. Dumb assholes. Oh, now, goodness. you brought up the snake ass niggas. Why is the snake ass nigga such a threat to the real nigga? Because that's exactly what it is. Snake is supposed to be quiet and stealthy and sneaky. Yeah. So, a real nigga is a nigga that has honesty, is one of the moving, elements of themselves. Free hardly, openly. Free hardly, openly righteousness. And a snake nigga and a real nigga don't plot on no, no other individual, mm -hmm. no other entity. A snake nigga will have to plot on you. And because of that, you being somebody not, not plotting, Going through the world like this, clean hearted, being real, a snake can try to sabotage you by mm -hmm. trying to snake you, doing some shit that you're not aware of behind your back. The snake bites you. So they such a threat to the real nigga because the real nigga sees everything and be honest. And they try to snake you to discredit you and make you look bad. So you got to keep your eye on any snake tendencies because if they do bite you, they can inject their venom and poison and may even destroy you. Yeah. Because a snake nigga can bite you and inject that shit in you and it's over for you. So that's why it's such a threat to the real nigga. Because they can't put that in that venom in you if you don't watch that. Well, you know I've had my personal experience with a, with a snake nigga. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say for the record, if you watching this, if anybody know a snake ass nigga named Fred, mm. let that nigga know I'm going to stomp his ass out wherever he stands if I catch that nigga in the street. <laughs> <laughs> wow, monkey stump. Whatever that nigga saying, we could be at the Walmart, we could be at the gas station, bitch, we could be at the subway. I'm going to stump your ass out and order my sandwich. 
Hey. Wow. You said it straight up. You said it right there. Fred, anybody with a snake nigga known as that, just watch out out there, obviously. It's been a, you've been forewarned on Real Vision, <laughs> GMR, and STV. That's the all snake nigga. That's real. GMR and STV, GWR, and that's all grown men, real nigga shit, grown woman, real nigga shit. That's real. I Death ain't locked in with y'all boys this season. I'm waiting to see what y'all gonna bring. Yeah, we're gonna step it up on some real shit right here. Guarantee. Balls up. All right, then. All right. All right. <laughs> That's real Boy, shit. Somebody you know better watch the fuck out out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Snakes is real. Like you say, it's just a good question to ask that was tying back into the, the, the Y session. But like we said, that's another example of niggas really being uneducated and shunning education. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't really know shit. The knowledge level of niggas is pretty low compared to... Overall, now, you got some niggas, of course, that's a scholar. Yeah. Like ourselves right here. You know what I'm saying? Living scholars in the flesh. So it's been a lot of scholars through history, niggas, blacks, you know what I'm saying, on record. It's, it's present scholars, and there will be more scholars that will come, you know what I'm saying, but as far as just having some kind of sense. When you're trying to say you got to be up there with all the credentials on paper and stuff, just know how to carry yourself every day in life and know how to basically know concepts and know how to educate yourself and know thought how to man, you know what I'm saying, because we man in here, you know what I'm saying. So looking at what it is overall, the condition of our people worldwide shows a lack of education. That they may not mean that we're not smart enough. That may mean that the education is being intentionally held from us. Mm -hmm. But also, oh, we're it being is. tweaked to not like education. To think that foolishness and bullshit that we keep amongst ourselves is cool, and to learn is actually flawed. Yeah. And that's the reverse thinking. Psychology. The mental sickness, mental once again. Trickery. That's an unnatural thought. A thought. That's a self-destructive nature. You automatically putting yourself under something that's unnatural, and you cannot prosper when you go against nature. No, you cannot. And that's what we're talking about now. The nigga back there, the gorilla reading the book. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas don't like to read, and that's their motherfucking problem. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Niggas need to step your education up and learn more and be able to overstand concept. When you talk about... Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your bro? Oh, yeah? Wow. Uh, uh, Okay, good thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like we were saying, give it, lock them back in. How niggas feel about education, man? Niggas don't like it. Niggas out in the streets, you go to start talking about some real shit and bringing up some real shit all the time. We always talk about that dumb nigga hood shit. We know about that shit every day. We start talking we about some, with some subject and real shit. Niggas start getting to, into a little bit and then they want to leave or turn out like, I don't really want to talk about it. I don't understand. Well, you need to understand. And you need to fucking be able to listen and have a conversation with niggas other than outside, I mean, other than people outside of your block. Because you can, we gotta be able to go and be international in this shit. A nigga can't Other than this yelling shit. matches. All that yelling shit in the household, yelling, talk like adults amongst each other. Those, like you said, yelling and all that shit is a reflection of uneducation as well. Yeah. Because we can understand that you... That's belligerent. That's black, blurred out shit. Yeah, you gotta... Blurred out shit, man. It's a time and place for everything. You know what I'm saying?